what I'd like to do today is talk a little bit more about what companies can do to reduce the damages that they cause, to avoid or mitigate risks, um, and also on the plus side, what are the opportunities for businesses to uh, make money uh, or improve their, their performance by conserving biodiversity or supplying ecosystem services um, or restoring ecosystems as the case may be. Um, there's an old saying, I think, uh, where there's muck, there's brass. Um, I don't know where that comes from, the UK probably, but the idea is that there's always a business opportunity even in something that seems very unlikely such as a mess in the forest. So let's first of all look at the uh, the mitigation side, what can companies do to reduce damages? And there are many, many tools that have been developed over the last few years. I don't have time to go into all of them. Um, but broadly, I think you can categorize the different approaches to helping businesses, first of all, avoid negative impacts. Secondly, reducing those impacts or mitigating them. Um, and thirdly, verifying uh, how well they're doing this. Um, I want to quickly go through some of the other opportunities that are there. Um, there are many, and um, this is one report among several in the last few years that have tried to identify how do you create business value from conserving biodiversity or providing ecosystem services, whether that's adding biodiversity to an existing business line or establishing entirely new markets. And so on the bottom right, you've got the examples of um, biocarbon and Red Plus, or water quality trading, biodiversity banking, which I've referred to, where you're not just adding biodiversity to something that an existing product or service, but creating an entirely new sector. 